Hey the Barriers, welcome to 14.7, playing some more Nami support. You guys seem to like the uh, the Nami Enchanter healer build, so we're going to keep going into that direction. This said probably could use a little bit of healing, talking about healing. Uh, playing Nami Jinx into a Vayne Lulu, so their late game is going to be pretty good. Our late game is going to be uh, decent as well, I'd say like Vayne Lulu is probably slightly better late game than uh, Jinx Nami. But what we do have is we have a little bit more lane pressure. If the Jinx is up for it, that is. But she seems a little bit almost AFK. We should be trying to get level 2 here first, but... Yeah, there we go. We've got it. And then the Jinx has been playing like very hesitant. She's actually giving them way too much respect. We should be able to out harass them here early. Hmm. Yeah, Jinx is like really, really scared actually. Cameo one joined the very oh, bush. You will. I still have heal. Hey Kami, thank you very much for the uh the resub. Okay, Lulu took a pretty bad trade then. Might be like a double fairy charm lane, just to try and keep my mana up. She's gonna take a tower hit though. So Lulu's kinda trolling. Yeah, that Lulu took a couple of pretty bad trades there. Okay. Yeah, that Lulu is super duper low HP. I'm running out of resources here. I think maybe we just reset her. Yeah, the Jinx looks lost. She looks like she needs a lot of direction. This Vayne is by herself. I don't have mana for Q. Don't know what was going on there. Fane randomly use Ghost. Lulu's going to be in the lane soon, though. Think they're aware about Zed. Yeah. I, mm, getting a dive here is going to be incredibly difficult. But you managed it. Let me just call it there. It was worth it for first blood. Also, Lulu got the kill. Nearly tried to freeze the lane, but yeah, there's no way that was going to happen. Yeah, okay. Why does it say so long? Because he wanted to die to Lulu. He think he thought he was going to die to like Ivan or someone coming down like that. Kind of considering putting a control order around about here instead of for bot side. Quit flopping around. I, I think the main way we die is by a soul getting to room down. So yeah, I think we'll do that. My people are counting on you. Um, okay. But we were gonna get a bubble then. Okay, 
We have a nice little wall of control wards then. Yeah, this Jinx gives a lot of respect over to the enemy. Which I'm a little bit surprised at. I do have Mana Flow Band complete now. First item will be Star for Flow Mortar. Get the question asked a lot, why do I go Star for Flow Mortar when I'm playing with an auto-attacking AD carry? It's because of the movement speeds. It's more important and um, they're not going to benefit much from Ardent until they get more items to be honest. It's a multiplier item, and earlier on, AD carries don't have too much damage. So that is why. Aesol, yeah, this is where Aesol's going to try and do a lot. I think we're safe to do this. As Jinx is control wood. But she should let me uh, last hit it. But they're getting the dragon now. It's because Zed showed himself top, so. Yeah. Ivan's now down here. We just relaxed a little bit. It's not much to do right now. Not when they got three people on this side of the map. We'll say Zed's not getting too much at the moment. It's eating the Jinx just to give it airy shield. Freezing the wave, but when their bot lane comes back into lane, they're going to have stronger items. We all need to be a little bit careful about that. Ivan's top. Ivan's been doing a lot of ganks and a lot of map play. We're not really getting enough from Zed here right now. So yeah, we've got item disadvantage right now because we were freezing the wave. Looks like Ari's looking for something. I think they know about it though. Jinx is making it like giga obvious right now. Okay, we should go back. Let's go back. Got items to buy. Time. I'm gonna gamble a little bit that that control is still gonna stay. Like this control has been here for a long time now. It's got a lot of value. <clears throat> There's always okay, now we're ahead in items. We should try and see if we can make something happen, but it's gonna be difficult. No vision in it for the enemy in the river right now. That scuttle should be free there for Zed. Okay. Didn't think that that Jinx ulti would land. I'm gonna be completely honest. Still got someone to heal. Ted wants to do a play. He's fine. Okay. 
But I need some stuff action going on with uh, with Zed. It took quite some time. Could maybe push for another play if we wanted to. Ivan's down here now. This is going to get cleared out. This ward, I'd be surprised if it still stays up, but it's been up for like. Didn't discover it by hitting the bloom there. But the ward's been there for a very, very, very long time now. Do I just like playing with Yasuo AD carry? Uh, some Yasuo's I've seen been very good, so. Yasuo AD carry can be pretty strong. I wouldn't say I would dislike playing with one. Okay, I've got enough of Dream Maker now. I'm just going to try and stay out of combat. Okay. Yeah, we can make a play for this dragon. Okay. And the ASOL's pretty low. Jinx has, um... Can you do something, Zed? Might want to just kill the daisy. Okay, good. Jinx can keep pushing in bot. There's 20 seconds for plates, so she can get a solo plate then. I think the Zed could probably pull this out a bit more. Okay. I don't know if I actually want to leech this turret. I might just let the Jinx have it solo. Do you want that on the turret? And 200 gold for Staff of Flame Water. I'll try and make our way up to Herald now. It's nice that we finally got some more map pressure. The first like eight minutes of this game was pretty tough. Okay, it's time to make their way over. Ivan's heading over. They got it. We didn't have our jungler though. Vayne looking to come up here. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame that we can basically give them a... Uh Give them Harold. Right, we have stuff for foam water. Aso did get a shutdown from our Jinx, 750 gold there. Also a little bit of a shutdown from Wukong earlier, so Aso's gonna be getting quite strong now. And next we will do Donko.
not much to do on the actual map now. All the tier 1 towers are down, all the neutral objects are down, so we might just be a little bit of... A bit of a waiting. Isn't door call week? It's fine. For what we're doing with Nami right now. Also, we've lost Cosmic Insight, so... Having the, uh, the lower flash and heal cooldowns is much appreciated. I don't know why the jinx is going up there. I think she thought chickens was up. Killing spree. Try and get a ward deep in the middle of this lane. Wukong's going a bit crazy here. I don't even... Okay, we'll try and ult that. We should have it. Okay, cool. We've got a lot of like vision, like a wall of vision here, so we can see if anyone's going to be coming out. Should make an attempt here to go for this turret. There you go, I hit it one time. There's another dragon coming up in 50 seconds. I've got time to recall and use the portals out of base. Do you want to call a second because of W change? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been liking it. Once we put Staff of Flowing Water on someone, we are, uh, we're over 100, so it means that the secondary and third bounce is um, stronger. Start getting that amplified. We just lost our jungler and the dragon's up now. Hmm. I think we're okay. I don't think there's much to go into here though. Ari does have ult. Wukong, I have a flash. Using Herald, potentially down mid here. We need to be careful a little bit here. Aesol's coming in as an engage. Jinx might be able to pop off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tongue can't just name engage. That was stupid of Aesol to use Harold like that as the beat to be the one to engage and he had to disengage straight away because he went in too deep. If anyone was gonna do that, it probably needed to be like either Lulu or like Ivan or something. Like it just meant that the Aesol put himself in a really, really bad position from the get-go. Jinx can now push in mode. Let's just keep moving. Hey, Veggie. Ari should be safe, though. Stop my recalls. So yeah, with the Baron buff. When I E someone, 178 AP, 8% modified per bounce, so 16% extra healing on the uh, third bounce. Not 
sure we'll actually yeah, catch anyone at them. Cancelled the Tom Kench. Right, we should get the stuff in. Jinx is now taking to our aggro because of red buff. Alright, that's one. That's two inhibs. People kind of wanting to look for an end here, but I think that might be a little bit greedy. I don't know. So we're going to try for it. It's going to be quite difficult to end end right now, though. I'm getting sucked in. Not the prettiest ult. Okay, we can end. I'm dead. No! The perfect KDA. Rip. The KDA, guys. Touch. Yeah, we didn't really get to do like the full um, super duper mid game healing because the game kind of snowballed pretty crazy. Um, like Snipple kind of came out of nowhere though. Ivan did a massive, like he did it really, really well, honestly. He, he got Grubs, he got First Dragon. The enemy team ended up getting Herald because of the Wukong mistake. Um, yeah, the enemy team got a lot. I don't, not really sure why it broke down so much for them. Um, I don't think the Jinx was particularly playing well early in the game, but when she had the items, she played stably. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really, sh actually, I'm not really sure why enemy team would have lost that because I thought the start of their game, they were doing pretty well. I'm actually going to go into, uh, my match history and check the gold graph because we did some freezing on bot lane. So we did some like, okay, wave management in terms of denying vein at times. Um, what's that under overview? So yeah, they were actually never ahead in gold. That's crazy because they were they were getting loads of map objectives and they were um, doing a good a lot of good stuff on top side. But I thought at least anyway. But six minutes, seven minutes, eight, yeah, they were they weren't ever like I would have said at this point it might have been a little bit behind because of the situation across the map. But it ended up being like five hundred gold ahead, one point six k gold ahead. So yeah, I don't know, strange game. Yeah, bot was ahead in CS, but like. Only by like 10 to 20, but they were enemy team were getting kills uh, top. I think they were like 3 1, 4 1 or something early in the game. So I'm surprised that they didn't have a gold lead. Maybe what was the mid lane CS? I guess Ari did. Yeah, okay. Ari had 222 CS and Iridian still had 150. So Asol roamed, but he lost a lot of CS from it. And Ari must have got some plates as well from that. So yeah, because Ari didn't really roam as much on the map. It was Aesol, like, I think he roamed up a couple times top and made one attempt bot side. Um, but yeah, must have been like just general CS making up for all the roaming and stuff. So yeah, GG.